Hey YouTube, I'm Borohan, back with another episode of Skyrim, and last episode, I'm uh, pretty sure we built, <laughs> we built what we have now of Lakeview Manor with the exception of the kitchen. When I left off last time I said between the videos I would gather some more building materials, and I did so, and I built the kitchen which is right here, but I forgot to record it. So, anyways, the kitchen's there. This episode, um, we're gonna build what, I, I think we'll put a trophy room around the back. This is the bedroom here. Bedrooms. It's one room, but, you know. Right here, we're gonna put probably the trophy room or the alchemy laboratory, probably the trophy room. <coughs> I think it would be probably best. So, uh, oh, another thing I did, I made some more weapons. I upgraded my battle axe, elven battle axe, uh, and a bow, elven bow, and my elven sword. I also made an elven warhammer. And upgraded that. I don't know why this is here. I'm favorite that. I'm favorite that. Uh, love the hunt. All that stuff. And I believe, yeah, I also upgraded my armor. So, yeah. Getting some goddamn nuts built up. Okay. Kinnereth, Mara, Stendar, and Talos, 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 however you pronounce it, uh, is that a, that looked like a dragon bone, don't know why I have those clothes, and I collect circlets, okay, so, let's get to work on the Serranus, still running around doing stuff, uh, let's get to work on the trophy room, so these are all the rooms that we have so far. Uh, alchemy laboratory, maybe storage room, no. Trophy room. Trophy room. Yes. Let's do it. Alchemy, I have quite a few materials. So I'm good. I don't know what that sound is every time I do this. Uh. I also made locks. Made some more locks. Foundation. And we need more quarried stone. Let's see what we have so far. Here we go. Foundation built. Is it eagle? Another thing about Skyrim with the detail on that, uh as you noticed, if you go to an open area at night, you can see it's over, um, over Whiterun is the best place, is one of the best places for seeing it. But when it's not too cloudy, uh, you can see things like, they look kind of like the Northern Lights. You can kind of see them here. Um, a little bit different. Also, there's a moon. There are two moons, I believe. Two moons in Skyrim. Two moons of Tamriel. Uh, I don't know if that's what they're actually called, but... So, once we get this built, then we'll go inside, take a look around, and then start building the inside. But, I might build it Actually, no, I don't think I'll build the inside yet. Um, build the beds. Yeah, I'll get some beds built, probably. And then I have yet another mod that I got that adds characters from the Lord of the Rings as followers that you can get in um, uh, Markarth. I believe that's where they're located. I haven't discovered it yet. So once we get this built, it's time for a road trip to Markarth 
And, uh, Gandalf, probably? No, not Gandalf. Let's get Legolas, since I'm a... It has, um... Legolas? Legol... Leg Legolas, that's how you pronounce it. Um, added since I'm a, uh, wood elf, I figured my... I should probably have something to the extent of an elf for a follower. Uh, I'll dismiss Serana. She'll just kind of wander around Dawn Garden when I continue the quest, and I'll pick Serana up again. And we'll go do that. And so once I get the house built, I think you need to get a couple of beds. I'm not pretty sure you need like one or two beds in the main hall <coughs> to get a steward. And then you can use a steward to furnish the inside, which basically builds the inside for you because it does take a long time, quite a long time to build the inside yourself. So, like, go through each individual item, get the materials, uh, build the materials, and then put them together. It takes quite a while, so it's just easier to furnish it, but it does cost the same. Like, the cost of the materials to build it yourself versus the cost of having it furnished. It's pretty much the same. When I was buying the material, when I was buying materials, I also found some other ores in the shops, like gold or some gold ore and ebony ore. I think that's all in some gold bars and that that I got and <clears throat> yeah. We'll smelt those and did some things. Here's trophy room frame. It's pretty nice. I think anyways. Not entirely sure what you think unless somebody has help with a way to harness telepathy. I really don't have any way of knowing exactly what you're thinking right now at this moment. I does that sometimes. Let's spill the roof. And. Nothing that I can build now. So, with that, the trophy room should be finished. Let's go around to the inside, have a look around, see what it's like. Uh, when I uh, played this on my other person, I built Lakeview Manor slightly differently. So I'm not entirely sure what this is going to look like other than the bedrooms, because that's really the only thing I kept consistent. Ah, uh, there's a chest right here. This is the entryway, the first building. You use these little things, these workbenches, to add items in that furniture, shelves, stuff like that. But instead of going around gathering or buying the materials and then <clears throat> that yourself, you can just get a steward and then he'll do it for you. This is the main hall. This is the second floor of the main hall. Uh, you, you can see it's all pretty empty. I had on my get out of the way. It's on it. Um, right here, uh, my first person save file thing. I put an alchemy lab there, which I mean, yeah, alchemy area building thing, which that had a door there, and there was an there was an armory there. Uh, yeah. And this is the kitchen. Let's open the doors to the kitchen. As you can see, a whole lot of nothing. Absolutely nothing. You can see all this stuff you can put in there. Just tables, wash basins, miscellaneous chandeliers. Get a chandelier in here. I have pretty much everything. 